and supporters of the PDP under the aegis of New Generation stormed the streets of Abelkuta in Ogu State Capital in Ogu State for its presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar and his running mate Ifai Okoa. Speaking to journalists, the group, group's coordinator Shadeinde Daniel said the work was to create more awareness for the party's presidential candidate. Young men and women, we have to dominate the political space. We have to be part of the process that makes the decision for our future. And the only way to achieve that is by participating in active politics. We have to be part of the process so that we can be part of the system. It is time to stand up to our responsibilities. The 2023 general elections is at hand. We should avoid activities that will be detrimental to our future and that our democracy. Let us collectively show sentiment of religion and region. We must say no to political violence. Let us campaign for who will protect our lives and properties. In 2023 general elections, our best, and I said our best, is Atiku and Okowa team. Yes. Because it's a transitional, it is a transitional and transformational ticket that will activate a youth inclusive governance. Uh, it is quite unfortunate that what we have now is insecurity. The economy is bad. We want to say no to the economy that is giving us 740 naira per dollar. We want to return Nigeria to economy that once gave Nigeria uh, 180 naira per, per dollar. We want someone who is experienced and capable, and that's what it takes to unify Nigeria. We need a detribalized Nigeria who will make, take Nigeria from the Bermuda Triangle that we have right now economically. And the only person that can do this is a person that has federal experience, someone that has done it before, that we have seen where, where he has taken Nigeria from. No, when they came in 1999, Nigeria was without form and void. But they took it, they gave it structure, they created the FCC, ICPC, name it, all the structure, all the systems we are using today. They created it as far back as 1999, and we are using that today. So the person that has the, the only person that has the experience among those that are, are the flag bearers today is no other person but uh, Atiku. Yes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.